hello gemini welcome to your monthly chakra healing video for the month of august i am really excited to be doing this because i've been kind of wanting to see what's going on with you guys for this month um so we're gonna get right into it i'm just going to move these over so we can kind of discuss the main parts of your reading your main cards and then you know everything else we'll talk about your oracle cards in a few okay so so what is going on first and foremost this particular month is going to have you being a little bit more active than maybe you have been in the past a few weeks um the reason i say this is because right off the bat in your root chakra you have the eight of pentacles which tells me that you want to get to work you want to do stuff you want to be a little bit more active you want to be working towards something but i feel like this is more of like you making your craft the eight of pentacles is a little bit different than the three of pentacles because the three of pentacles has somebody basically making you you're like in commission to make something for somebody else where the eight of pentacles is you creating something um it that's how it differs as a work card and i do feel like you guys are in creation mode you're a little bit more playful you're working um lovingly on the things that you want to do if you actually look at the card and you look at his face he is like just in his passion he's he's kind of hung all of these up there the pride and joy of what he does and i do feel like that's kind of what you guys are tapping into you guys are also in your sacral space moving away from the traditional viewpoints of the way society asks you to make your money asks you to work asks you to conform asks you to do the nine to five asks you to do all of these things that are not in alignment with who you are in your spirit you guys are meant to be um a little bit more free a little bit more out there the three is coming up hard for you guys this month a uh, mercury energy is coming up hard for you guys this month there is this liberation that is happening with you guys this month um and i do feel like you're gonna find a different way to make money you're gonna find a different way to um be happy you're gonna have a you're gonna find a different way to do your craft and do what you love to do um and i do feel like you're getting a little bit more it's just there's a creative coming there's a creativity coming from from you guys and you can see that in your solar plexus you guys are going to be very very clear-headed this month you guys are also using the air element a lot this is kind of your we weapon of choice for this month is your voice is how you communicate but it's also your thoughts okay and we're going to get to that 10 of wands in reverse energy in the third eye we're going to get to it in a second but it is about your thoughts. Your thoughts are going to be either a curse or a blessing this month. You can choose which ones you want it to be. Um, you will notice that when you're applying yourself and when you're working towards and doing what it is that you love doing, you are actually, your thoughts are more positive. And when you're like not moving a lot or not kind of being active and fluid as you're meant to be, you're kind of feeling a little bit more stuck, a little bit more down. So you need to try to maintain your clarity this particular month because the sun shining in, shining in Leo for the remainder of like August up until it goes into Virgo and then it comes back into that mercurial energy. You're going to have this kind of burst of like life and fire in you where you're just like, no, I, I, I know what I want to do. This isn't it. But I know I want to be happy. I know I want to. I know what my passion is. I've known for a long time. And you know what? I'm going to stop with the excuses. I'm going to take the time that I have and I'm going to apply myself because that's what I need to do right now. That's what my spirit is telling me. And I just cannot continue to do the society BS anymore. I just can't do it the same way. Um, so there is this kind of shifting and it's kind of fast. You guys are being very direct, very clear um, with your words. You're very kind of really bold. You're kind of not taking no for an answer. Like you guys are, you know, you're, you're very direct this month. Um, but I definitely don't see it as a bad thing, especially because, you know, sometimes when a Gemini is direct, it can come off kind of harsh. Sometimes, not all the times. But um, in your, uh, specifically in your third chakra, you do have the Page of Pentacles, which tells me that you are, you are speaking and founding new, you're using that air element to really call into your reality and manifesting your reality. And you're also calling in and planting those seeds of money and finances that you might have been kind of, I don't want to say struggling, but you know we're gonna get we're gonna get into this in a second we're gonna get into it in a second but i do feel like you guys kind of have this uh, really big focus especially verbally you're going to be talking about finances a lot this month when 
you really need to connect the finances and your mind a lot as well. I do feel like you, if you guys are your worst enemy, you're going to make yourself and your circumstance be a lot worse than it actually is. Um, you are protected. You have a roof over your head. You are um, happy. You have things going on for you. You know what you who you are and what you're supposed to be doing. You're a lot farther off than others are. So please take that as a as a, a just a highlighting factor of what what how your mentality should be if you're not weak to any capacity you're not at a low point in any capacity you're actually in a place where you're able to really create and be a little bit more playful it's almost like you guys are on the playground this month with your heart chakra you have the six of wands you guys are fine romantically i don't have any i don't see any problems i do feel like you guys are just like in a really good mood and a really like having a lot of fun um just being out in the sun uh, out and about there's definitely a lot, of, a lot of passion a lot of drive i do feel like you guys are just kind of like really open and clear when it comes to your um love life any type of relationship stuff it's just you guys are in a really good place this month um and it's not in a way where it's frustrating or it's you know it's making you feel weak or making you feel bad not at all you guys are actually i feel like are feeling very supported relationship wise um and you'll kind of see that continue throughout the month um and kind of integrate into the next month as well now about this 10 of wands in reverse why is in your third eye why is this in your third eye let me just pull up this card right here okay what are the oracle cards that you got was open your third eye. It is safe for you to open the center of clairvoyance. By doing so, you'll see the truth. This is one of their biggest problems this particular month. And you guys kind of have a knack to doing this, especially if you have some a lot of like um, earth energy in your charts. You tend to fall into this kind of struggle kind of mentality. And this is why this is in reverse. Your third eye is telling you, you need to have a I'm not struggling mentality and you need to tell yourself I'm not struggling at all. Every single day you wake up every night before you go to sleep, you need to tell yourself I'm not struggling. I'm taken care of. I'm just fine. I have money in the bank. I have love. I have everything that I need to have a beautiful life every day and the next day. And you need to say that every single day because this struggle mentality, if you flip this over, and you have this blocked third eye because you're not able to really see how these intentions are going to be in the future, how the things that you want to work on, how your passions are manifesting into the future, you are going to stop yourself from being successful. So I need you guys to flip that over, do some third eye work and let yourself envision who you are. Okay, be open to who you are, be open to the positive aspects of who you are be open to the things that you're working on don't sit around look at your bank account and be like oh oh well i don't have i i only have 495 i wanted to have 500 i don't have enough i'm struggling with money no 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 this is not a struggle mentality. And anytime you spend a dollar, use that throat chakra because again, your solar plexus is active in your voice. So use your voice to manifest more. You're like, oh wow, I just spent $30. I just tripled that. I do that triple back in my bank account. You guys need to be doing constant affirmations. And this is great for me knowing this because one, I have a Gemini, my Gemini moon. So you guys know this applies to me too, but it also applies to Bay because you guys also know that Bay is a Gemini moon. So I will be playing some affirmations for her this month specifically to make sure that she is staying in alignment with this energy um but please 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 this is the one the one area that you don't want to have blocks and the reason being is because the third eye deals with the future it deals with what you see um with the things that you can't necessarily touch in the physical realm but you know to be true if you turn this flip this over what you know to be true is a struggle okay if you flip the, if you maintain the, uh, the just the the opposite of that energy you're gonna you know that you're not gonna be struggling and so that is what you will manifest so please 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 be open to receiving this particular month for your crown chakra you have the temperance card and i do feel like there is kind of this need to kind of balance the lower chakras and the upper chakras for you guys i do feel like you guys need to kind of get out and be a little bit more playful and i do feel like that's why you got the laughter 
uplift yourself and those around you through loving laughter i do feel like you guys need to be a little bit more flexible this month be a little bit more open with the energy you also have emotional healing um it's safe for you to let go of old emotional pain by doing so you allow your heart to mend and this comes hand in hand with maintaining the six of wands energy where your love life is actually in a such a great spot that it makes you feel like a great person um and that also has to deal with especially because we're in in Leo season, which is all about the ego, if you've been hurt before, you have to release that, especially when it comes to all relationships or anything like that. It's just, you have to let that go. It's not, it's not a good time. It's, you, you just gotta let it go because you have other things that you need to be worried about and work, be working on that. It's just not, it's not about that right now. So just be mindful of that energy. For your planetary energies affecting you this particular month, Mercury and Capricorn is coming through for you guys. I'm not surprised a Capricorn card is coming up, especially because in the throat chakra, you have the page of pentacles. So there is this focus on um, finances, there's focus on money. There's it's Also, make sure you're watching your transits when it comes to Capricorn and your Mercury Cap uh, your Mercury transits as well. Um, but you guys already had Mercury come up in your solar plexus, so you know it's going to be a really big focus. But it's almost like these planets are kind of the, the planets um almost like mercury and, and capricorn are kind of playing um i don't want to say a game with you but almost kind of pushing you to be a little bit more serious with your finances um and really ground yourself into some new energies because you do have all of this pentacle energy in your root chakra in your throat chakra that chakra that is ruled by you um so there is this kind of restructuring and having a more foundational um support when it comes to gemini for this particular month for your love life you have attraction you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully and you have it is safe for you to love open your heart to give and receive the uh the highest energy of all and you see how you have two of these like that horse energy that being on your high horse energy <laughs> do you guys see that do you guys see that right there that came out twice that is a double confirmation like you guys need to be with someone who makes you feel good um you need to be with someone that like loves you unconditionally that loves you for who you are and i do feel like there's so much attraction there there's a lot of love there's a lot of connection there's a lot of lust as well so have fun with that <laughs> um uh for hold on your other two oracle cards you have new exercise program and seeking and finding okay seeking and finding now i'm gonna start with the seeking and finding because this one's obvious i do feel like you guys again are finding different ways to kind of live your life um especially address your finances your money um maybe doing some collapse with people maybe um finding just creating your own company well however else that looks like i do feel like you guys are doing different things and finding different avenues to address something not just the way you've been doing it before i um, mean you will have a lot of luck with that um and then when it comes to a new uh, exercise program, let me tell you, me and Bay, I told you guys, we started, we got a personal trainer. So we have been literally working hard <laughs> um, up in here. We were, we've been working our asses off. And I do feel like this, this particular season is going to kind of bring that out for you guys too, because you guys are also going to want to feel good. If you've been eating your feelings like I was in April, you're going to try to resolve some of that now. I do feel like you guys want to get back on your A game um and just be a little lighter with your energy and more like fluid um especially with your body so if your body hasn't been fluid you're gonna probably start yoga you're gonna start running you're gonna start dancing um and just kind of getting out there and just being yourself in, in just more, in a more lighter way so just be open to trying and especially moving your body in in ways that you haven't in a couple of months possibly in a couple of months um now i've been picking mudras for everybody uh for the month so you can use these to meditate with them and these are the two that you guys got to do this month the first one is vastness of space in a space of deep inner listening, I receive guidance for my journey. Okay, I'm going to flip these over so you guys can pause it and read it. Okay. And then you have middle bo body breathing. Greater openness in my breathing allows me to live with enthusiasm and vitality. All right. This is the back of this. So you guys can pause it and read it and i do feel like the breath 
your openness, your 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 clarity. And I do feel like this is why you're getting these downloads. And this is why you got the temperance in there. When you need to like balance yourself out this particular month, really come back to your meditation. And this is um the two mudras that you should be using for it within your meditations this month. Try to interchange them maybe once every week, a different one every day or something like that. Um, interchange them. Uh, just to kind of like maintain your head, maintain your space, maintain your breathing, maintain your um, strength um, and that vitality, that enthusiasm for life and just just really to uh, connect with you and align yourself with um, what it is that you want to do and what it like that day, that particular day and what it is that you want to do with that day. Um, so I got these uh, Mudra cars a while back. Um, I'll put the link in the down below um, if you are interested in getting them. I got them from Amazon. So if you guys are interested, I'll put them in there. But um, these babies are amazing. I really, really, really love these. I got I, I first used them at a retreat a long time ago with one of my um, friends in Grenada. And I, I just like kind of fell in love with them. So I just wanted to I bought them specifically. The second I saw them, I was like, yes, I need this. Um, and I wanted to kind of share it with you guys and also start incorporating them into the weekly healing circles because we're going to be doing different things in the weekly healing circles. It's not just going to be the same thing every single time. We're going to be doing a lot more uh, different practices um, for our healing so we could just maintain that energy throughout the weeks. Okay. Uh, so yeah, so that was your reading for this month. Um, I hope you have a beautiful month. Oh, did I show your bottom of the deck? I'm sorry. I disrespected. You got the queen of cups. The Four of Wands, the Six of Pentacles, and the Fool is your bottom of the deck. Which, again, I'm not really surprised about. You guys are headed for greatness. Um, so I will definitely see you guys in the next one. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell. And also, don't forget to check out the Patreon because we're always learning and growing over there. So feel free to join us. And, yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.